Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. My name's Wyatt, and today I'll be teaching you how to script a game pass door on Roblox. Okay, so before I show you how to make this script, I just want to show you how it works. So if we head into the game, you'll see all we have to do is walk up to this door, and only if we own a certain game pass we'll be able to pass right through the door, can collide with it turned off, and uh, we can walk right through. Okay, so now that you know what the script does, I actually want to show you how to make it. So the first thing you're going to need is a door part. This can be in workspace or in a model. I have mine in a model, but this will be the part where we turn off can collide if the player owns a game pass. Now to actually have that happen, to turn off can collide, we need a local script. So let's create a new local script under starter GUI. And we can just name this game pass door script. Okay, so now that we have our script, we can actually get into coding our game pass door. So the first thing that we want to do is get a reference to the Marketplace service because all purchases, anything that has to do with Robux is done through the Marketplace service on Roblox. So we'll just say local Marketplace service equals game colon get service Marketplace service. And after this we need a reference to the player because we need to know who owns the game pass. We can't just have anybody, we need to know the our local player. So we'll say local player equals game dot players dot local player and we also want to reference to that door part I was telling you about earlier so right here ours is under game dot workspace dot door dot door uh, so we'll just say local door part equals game dot workspace dot door dot door and finally we need a game pass ID this can be any Game Pass ID you want. Maybe if you have a premium access Game Pass or premium areas, uh, it could be a Game Pass ID for that. It can be whatever Game Pass ID you want people to be able to walk through the door. So to do that, we'll just say local Game Pass ID equals that, because that's my Game Pass ID. Uh, now what we want to do is we just want to check if the player actually owns the Game Pass. So we'll say if Marketplace Service colon user own, owns game pass async and user own game pass async that's the method that will actually check if a player owns a pass there is a previous method that you could use to do that but this is the most updated one so we'll use this uh, and then the first parameter in that is the player's user ID so we'll just say player.user ID uh, and then after that we'll just pass in the game pass ID uh, now we'll just put a then on that and now inside of here, so we're, we're just checking if the player owns the game pass. So if they do, we'll just print player owns pass. And if they don't, otherwise, if they don't own the pass, we'll just say player does not own pass. And now this is great. We have some prints, so now we know if the player owns the pass, but it's not doing anything. If we look at the door and we go into the game, we still won't be able to pass through the door no matter what. So what we have to do is say, if the player does own the game pass, we're going to set can collide on that door part to false. So door part dot can collide equals false. And otherwise, we want to set it to true so that they can't pass through the door. So door part dot can collide equals true. Now, just a little tip, this is really important that you put this inside of a local script, just because any time that you change something, so if you change a property, if it's in a server script, it'll change it for everybody on your game, or everybody in that server on your game. But if we have it in a local script, it'll only change it for that player. So for example, if I was playing Roblox with my friend Joe, and I own this game pass, but he didn't, the door would only get can collide set to false for me and only I would be able to pass through it, not Joe, because only I own the game pass and it's in the local script. So let's actually test this out. It should work. Um, all we have to do is go into the game and because I do own this game pass, we can. all we have to do is walk right over the door and we'll be able to pass right through. But let me show you an example where I don't own the game pass. So if we set the game pass ID to one, I don't own the game pass ID one. It's not in my inventory. So if we go in and we test it again, it should set can collide to true, which means that we shouldn't be able to pass through the door. So if we walk over once again, yep, this is what it'll look like for players that don't own the game pass. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you learned something new today about scripting on Roblox. As always, I'll have the pastebin link for the code and the Roblox model link in the description of this video, and I'll see you guys later.